one occasion, you may need to calculate the mean of a range of numbers. For example, suppose your 401k plan increased by 6%, 3%, 9%, and 16% respectively over each of the past four years. While it would be easy to add the four numbers together and divide that sum by four to arrive at an arithmetic mean of 8.5%, it would be incorrect to say that the average increase was that amount. Instead, as described in this tip, you should use Excel's GeoMean function to calculate the geometric mean of a range of numbers. To calculate a geometric mean in Excel, you can use the GeoMean function, which returns the average growth rate with the effect of compounding. You can use GeoMean to calculate the geometric mean on up to 255 numbers, defined names, arrays, or cell references that contain numbers. As currently shown on screen, using the numbers provided previously, the geometric mean of the range C1 through C4 is 7.1352% instead of the arithmetic mean of 8.5%. Far from an exhaustive discussion on arithmetic mean versus geometric mean, the technique described in this tip should help you to calculate accurately average growth rates when percentages are involved. In these cases, you should use Excel's GeoMean function to calculate the average growth rate given the effect of compounding. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.